Well, guys, here I'm having a problem with the, my PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, the problem is, is that I'm trying to play some games. And, uh, like, for example, I'm going to go ahead and put this one right here, which is South Park, the latest game. And let's listen to the noise that it does. Hear that? Oh, crap. Wow, that's messed up. And like you see there, we put the disc, and now if you, we check here on the TV, look at that, it says unrecognized disc. And there you see the logo right there, because I've been actually playing this game. Um, but right there you see unrecognized disc, and you just see that I just, let's go ahead and exit again, and put it back in again. I've been checking some some steps to take on how to fix this problem, which I'm going to be taking now. See if it actually fixes the problem. And, yep, there you go. Look at that. Again, not recognized. Oh, God. That's really, really, really sucks. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this game, the system, I'm going to push it um Turn it off, right? Let's go ahead and turn it off completely. Boom. Ah, okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and take the disc out and turn it off completely by pressing and holding twice. Let it beep twice. There you go. So right now it's turning off. There you go. It's turning off completely. It's off. Gonna wait for this to go off, and now we're gonna go ahead and put it on safe mode. Dun, 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 dun. Now this is the first time it happens to me because I've owned uh, the original. I did buy the original PlayStation Four Pro, the Four. Never had a problem, uh, and this is the first time I get the you know, the this one, the Pro, Pro. I actually bought it on release date, which was November 10 last year. And uh, it's already past that. It's already past the one-year warranty. So it's already December something, December 10. Okay, so there you go. Now it's completely off. So we're going to go ahead and put this on safe mode. Press and hold. Then wait for it to beep again. There you go. Beep twice. So now it should go to safe mode. But now we got, yes, see there, it's on safe mode. So now I'm going to have to connect. Like, see there, it says connect the DualShock using the cable. Then press the PlayStation button. So I'm going to go ahead and look for my controller and connect it here via cable. Okay, so here, like you see, we already connected our PlayStation 4 via cable to the PlayStation 4 Pro. And right here on the TV, we have... Restart PS4, change resolution, restore update system software, restore, rebuild, initialize, initialize PS4. So what we're going to do here is go to update PlayStation 4. And here it says update from USB, update from disk, update using internet. So that's the one we want to choose. I got to... Sorry for the camera if it's shaking. It says the following version of the system for where it's available. Version 5.01. And let's go and press next. So, yeah. The, I'm going to go ahead and try to do this. Um, of course, I already... My PlayStation 4 already has the that update. But sometimes... I've heard that sometimes the, when the update is not done properly... Um, you might get this error. That's never happened to me. So what I'm going to do is try to let this finish. And then we'll be back. Okay, so we just finished the update. And, you know, right after the update, the PlayStation 4 will automatically restart. And now we're going to go ahead and try and see if it actually fixed the problem. Which I, honestly, I doubt that's going to fix the problem. But let's go ahead and see. Yep, nope. Well, huh. Holy crap. 
Oh, yes. Look at that. So the game is now recognized, and we do not hear. You see there? We do not hear the PlayStation 4 driver going off. Let's go and exit again. Okay, that's a good sign right there. Okay, let's go and take it out. Let's go put back again. Nice. Okay. Yes, look at that. So let's go and see if we start. Oh yes, look at that. So right now, it is, it is not making the noise that I was doing, which means that so far, for now, it's pretty good. It seems that it solved the problem. But uh, I don't know if that's going to perma permanently solve the problem. Because once your driver starts doing that, I think, uh, you know, it's concerning because, you know, that could mean that later on the driver might go bad, you know. But so far, like you saw there, that little steps right there actually solved the problem. Um, if you want, leave comments on the video and ask me later on if it's still working. And I'll try and go ahead and answer your question and give you an update if it's still working. Let's go ahead and get this out of here again. Let's go and get, get the disc out again. Um, and so far, this only been happening with um, this game. And it also happened with uh, Need for Speed Payback. So Need for Speed Payback in this game, it happened. Uh, but this game, I actually got it to work a couple times. So that's why I, so far, I, look at that. No sound whatsoever. And the game totally loaded up. That is a good sign right there. That is a good sign right there. So I really hope that this actually solved the problem permanently. But like I said, once it starts doing that for the first time, uh, it could be a bad sign that your driver might be a little bit bad. Um, and it might go bad, you know, a couple months from now. But so far, it seems good. If you want, hit me on the comments and, and I'll let you guys know if it's still working or not. If it actually solved the problem permanently. But so far, it's been working for me. So if you have this problem, all you got to do is um, put your PlayStation 4 in safe mode. Once you put it on safe mode, just choose to re-update your software. Once you do that... It's going to restart and it should solve the problem just like it did for me. But I'll let you know if it actually solves the problem uh, for a long time. Let's see how long this actually lasts. But so far for now, it seems like, like the problem is actually fixed. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Till next time.